My name is Aaron Reich and I'm Avanade CTO. And one of the many topics that I talk about with clients has been on AI readiness. There are four key themes that I talk about with clients every single time I talk to them about generative AI. First is what is your AI strategy? You need to link your business strategy to what you want to do with AI. It's important about finding your why as that is how you're gonna find your path to value. Gen AI is not some brand new digital transformation. At Avanad, we've been applying it and finding value in two different ways. One is through optimization in our current business. Think cost savings through some automation, enhancements and productivity as we've been rolling out co-pilots. Now the other is where we're going through and we're reimagining different parts of our business. Number two. Make sure you put people before the tech or what we call people first AI. A great example of this is the approach to how we're deploying M365 Copilot to thousands of our employees. We didn't just turn on the licenses and give it to people. We identified key personas. We studied how work is and will be changing from its use. And we asked them how they feel about using Copilot. And then we pair that with this dynamic change management program, supporting those employees across their journey, and we're ensuring fluency and adoption. Number three, we are focused on responsible AI. My colleague, Chris McLean, just did a phenomenal video talking about trust and co-pilots. Now for sure, we are not perfect, but we are applying various forms of AI governance across our applications in and in the work that we are doing with clients. And finally, number four, well, this is about your digital core. Well, what is a digital core, you may ask? <laughs> That's a great question. It's one of these consulting terms that has been thrown around, but it's actually really, really important. The digital core is the foundation of your architecture and systems that enables current and future products and services that you are building. Even if you have the best business strategy for AI, Without having the right data and the right supporting core systems in place, <laughs> that AI strategy is just not gonna work. It's garbage in and garbage out. Here's one picture of what a traditional legacy current state may look like of, it, of your digital core. You've got all these different applications and they're tied into this core platform and you're supporting it with data structures underneath. Now here's a different look at a conceptual architecture same thing that we're talking about. You've got your business strategy. It's flowing into your apps and experiences. And there are then distinct layers that you have for security, cloud infrastructure, and then specific programs that you may be running to either modernize your applications, do the same thing with data. And then you've got all your operations, security, DevOps, and ML ops, but you're treating all these things separately. With the fast paced evolution of AI, you wanna make sure you've got a digital core ready for AI and future emerging technologies. We see the digital core evolving in two components, a foundation layer that has your cloud security and identity control planes. That piece on identity is new. And I'm going to talk about that in a later video. You then need an orchestration layer that ties into what will be several platforms for your products and services. You are doing this because as you define your AI strategy, it must link and support this architecture across all of your AI investments. And this core has to support several things that are evolving today. Number one, co-pilots and new types of applications. Two, a new designer and software engineer. Three, ensuring you can unlock data anywhere and the ability to manage it all for cost optimization and governance, which is the fourth thing. I like to think of this, that we need to get out of our thinking of the cloud of 2015. And as this digital core evolves, all of the things I just talked about are part of cloud v next. This is what I'm really excited about and how there's gonna be this new wave of applications supporting customers and workers with AI to make them flourish. Until next time, be well. Thank you.